السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد ثم أما بعد we are talking about العمل الصالحات we talk last time last year about الصلاح والإصلاح which is still uh, something we have to do and inshallah today we'll to, like this year our goal is عمل الصالحات to do good deeds so this is our ultimate uh, goal inshallah this year is how to do صالحات good deeds any good action you do actually you can put everything under عمل الصالحات Whatever, siyam, salah, sadaqah, you know, every, every, anything you can uh, put it under amal uh, al-salihat. Uh, and I just mentioned some ayat to, Ya ayyuha al-rusulu kulu min al-tayyibati wa amalu saliha, O messengers, eat from good food, halal source, and so on. And even good food, organic, don't eat this, the stuff that chemical stuff that we eat and will poison our body وعملوا صالحة and do good deed الله سبحانه وتعالى قلت ومن يعمل من الصالحات من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فأولئك يدخلون الجنة ولا يظلمون نقيرا whoever do good deeds either male or female and he is a believer those will enter Jannah many أحد many آيات شاء الله will mention them as we go but as we said yesterday that uh, we need to come up with, with action plan in what to do. First of all, uh, anyone knows the difference between يفعل ويعمل ويصنع from the Quran? And when you say يفعل, to do, يعمل, to make, and يصنع, in English, fabricate. Hmm. Quickly, anyone knows? Anyone to, want to add? يفعل, if you do something even one time. If you do one thing, one time only, يفعل, to do. If you're repeating the, the do, the action, many times, it will be يعمل, it will be make. And يصنع, there is a accuracy. Uh, Sheikh just mentioned, سنع الله الذي أتقن كل شيء. This is uh, the, يعني, made by Allah that, uh, have uh, that created accuracy with everything. So, الصناعة عمل متقن والعمل فعل متكرر. So يصنع fabricate is عمل work you do every day to say what what you do what is your work something you're repeating every day. يفعل even one time يا الذين أمنوا لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون. Allah didn't say ما لا تعملون. And all believe you are you say something you don't do. So anything you claim you say you just do it one time so you don't fall under this eye. Even one time in your life. Will be okay. So this is where يعمل الصلاحات meaning what? Huh? Something we repeat. So it's not only one time. Something we have to repeat every time. Another model I will just before uh, we, we, we finish with this is let's have this model in our mind. Say you have a trailer, and the trailer has six wheels. Okay, two in front and two in the back and two in the middle for support. Everyone picture this a trailer. Two wheels in the front, two wheels in the back, and two wheels in the middle. The three on the right is what, huh? what we mentioned yesterday. We have three internal islah, amal salih we have to do. Huh? Internal reform, huh? al-aql, qalb, huh? al-aql and al-jasad. So your mind, your knowledge, and your heart, your qalb, and your body. So these are the three wheels on the right of the trailer. And the three wheels on the left, huh? Al Usra, your family, Al Mujtama, your society, and the third wheel, Al Ummah. Okay? So now how many wheels we have? Six wheels. Okay? So you have to have how many wheels you have for this trailer to move? <laughs> Minimum. Huh? Four, right? These wheels will not move men less than four wheels. Sometimes you have a flat tire, sometimes you have overpressure, you have too much pressure, but these are the wheels for the car, 
for the trailer to move. You don't have to do, if you have the six wheels with good pressure, masha Allah, that's great. Huh? Your aql with ilm and knowledge, your qalb with iman, your body with health, you know, you eat good food. You don't have to eat too much food, even buy organic. I know it's expensive, but I don't have organic business, by the way. <laughs> but eat, eat, eat organic and less, because we, you know, one opportunity of Ramadan that we discover that we eat too much through the whole year. Alhamdulillah, when you, when you fast, at the end of the day, you eat a little and you feel full, Alhamdulillah. So we need to minimize, and this is part of fixing the wheel if you're a, if you're body, okay? On the other hand, we have to work with our family, your wife, your kids, and your close relatives, your society, your mujtama, your Oakville, Dar community, or Falah community, ICCO community, ISNA community, you know, and then the Ummah, the whole nation. So this is where we need to focus. Where the problem is that we have, sometimes people have only one wheel. When you memorize the Quran, MashaAllah, very good for yourself. Okay, and you do Qiyam, great, MashaAllah. And then, what about the other five wheels? The car will not move, remember. The car will not move with one wheel only. <laughs> if you work only for the Ummah, you are the much, Masha Allah, you make jihad, you give talks, you travel, but the other five wheels, yourself, your ibadah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your heart, is not, you don't have enough pressure in the wheel. What will happen? The trailer, the car will not move. So you need minimum four. Because six is, is, is too much. But mashallah, some people have six wheels. And this is why they carry more. Okay? So, I make six papers. Al-Qalb, Al-Aql, Al-Jasad, Al-Usra, Family, sorry, Al-Mujtama, Society, and Al-Ummah, uh, nation, the nation that we live. So, what I need from all of you to help me to fill this, what we can do, not only by talking, by making a mechanism, creating a mechanism. We have good example, Sheikh uh, Ahmed Yassin, Rahmatullah He was moving on a wheelchair. So his body, he doesn't have the tire for his body, by the way. His body was not functioning well. But may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his soul with mercy, Rahimahullah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa taqabbalahu shuhada. He created one of the strongest Palestinian resistance that fighting the enemy of Ummah right now. Okay? So, he created a mechanism. Not only preaching, talking, talking, talking. So, we need every one of you to help me starting from today and every day what to do for your Qalb. You have the mic. Who will give us idea? Or other, one of the six. Everyone will think about something, but I want you, before you say it, Think how to apply it and how you lead a group, a committee, or the action to do. Remember, we mentioned one thing. Ahmed Jawhar, you Ahmed Jawhar, you Ahmed Jawhar. We talk about homosexuality. Every July, mashallah, we, are, we wake up. We sleep 11 months and we wake up in July because we have the parade on, uh, I don't know what they call it. Anyhow, I forgot the name. Rainbow or whatever. Okay? And we wake up. And everybody, khutbah, we give khutbah, we talk, blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't, send the, don't send the kids to school, but you send them the rest of the year to school. <laughs> so, why you don't send them for one day? What we did as ummah, as society, to solve the problem of this. Okay? Either by resisting the education, the... the you know, the school board and the Ministry of Education, blah, 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 to stop this or to have Islamic schools and clean environment for our kids. What we did? Hmm? Nothing. We just talk. Right? So this is one example. Okay, so this is where, and we said we make one committee. Alhamdulillah, Brother Ahmed, he started something, but it's moving very slow to support kids in school when we, they have anything regarding uh, 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 any ideas or ideology that goes against Islam. Okay, so, huh? What we do? What we do?
any ideas to change the condition of our ummah. And by the way, if you don't do it, again, if, not, if we are not all involved in this, the condition of the ummah will not change. The only thing we will do, we'll keep making dua. Every salah we make dua to support our brothers and sisters. And we cry and we ask Allah for help. But we don't support them. <laughs> we don't send them supplies. We don't force our idiots who are ruling us. I mean, it, it seems that we are ruled by animals. CC, Al Assad, you know, the, the, the king the, yani, of animals who are ruling us. Okay? And we, if the shu'ub, the ummah, the people have to force the rulers, if one million only, one million in Egypt, Mr. may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring Mr. back to haqq, one million out of a hundred million, I am not saying good people, crazy people, they wake up in the morning, they are crazy and they walk to the borders of Gaza. And we say we will not accept this, why? We, we, are, we are crazy people, we lost it. Yeah, guys, you have to be reasonable. You know, you have no weapons. You have no source. No, we are crazy. Don't convince us. We will walk. You will die. We are crazy. We will walk. If they walk, wallahi, they will make a change. And we need more idiots from Lebanon, more idiots from Jordan, more idiots from Syria. So if these idiots, couple of millions of idiots, crazy people can stop the war. But mashallah, we're all smart. <laughs> we're all smart. We don't have crazy people. So this is what I'm saying. We wait for someone to change the condition. No one will change it. You, the one, the person goes, is going to change is you. We are not waiting for Salah al-Din. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. I'll give you another example. Even here in, in, in the masjid, we don't know each other. <coughs> and wallahi, I feel bad that I don't know the names of everyone. And every time I have the opportunity to ask someone, I ask his name. Blah, blah. So I know Mbarah yesterday, I, I, I know Yusuf from Misr, I know Ali from Sudan. <laughs> so, so something like this, how to build the ties and relationship between the community. At least we know the names. We know what you do, how many kids you have, you have any problems. And this is part of huh, fixing the tire for the mujtama, for the community. So this is the ideas I'm throwing. We need waqf to build Islamic school, because all Islamic schools we build, only rich people take their kids to school. So we donate, but at the, if I don't have money to take my kids to school, then we donate to the rich people of the community, right? So we need waqf, endowment, to support the school, so all Muslim kids, rich and poor, will go to school, right? All these ideas, how to do it without you. Assamtu <laughs> Rahib. Yes, go ahead, alhamdulillah. Actually, but raise your voice so everybody can hear you or come and talk to in the mic. Actually, you have, there is one affordable solution to fix the old six. MashaAllah. Okay. okay. Come, come. No, Wallahi, come. It's Hafz al-Quran. Hafz al-Quran. Wallahi. MashaAllah. Gaza. There is some system will not hear you. Come, come. Please, Allah, come. I'm not prepared. Okay. If you might tell me, okay. But you need to say your name first. No. So people. You don't need my name. No, no, people, we need to know you. But your name is what? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Okay, that's it. This is Ibrahim. Welcome, Ibrahim. The examples we saw in Gaza, the, the beginning of the of the war, these these. So the examples we saw in the beginning of the war uh, yeah, in Gaza were like examples from the time of the Sahaba. Like, sorry? So there are like uh, examples from the time of Sahaba. But something we, we don't understand and I mean people have lost everything. And women have lost all of their children and they say uh, and, and this, this, this guy who 
who lost his 23 years old uh, um, uh, son and he, he was talking like 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 this hadith of this is Jibril uh, when he when he stood up and he said الشهيد يشفع لسبعين واحد من أهل بيته. This is this is not normal. This is not this is not us. This is. But if you know what happened in Gaza before the war, we cannot hear you there. Okay. Before the war, just one month before the war, who who you have have come across مشروع الصفوة. No, you, you just please Google it and, and uh, see it in, 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 in YouTube. And only a month before the war, there was, a, there was this project in Gaza. Um, it's called Safwa 2. Um, and th there, was, there was a Safwa 1 the year before, um, like 300, 300 Hufad Quran, but not, um, not just the half of he was he was very he was perfect helpful because uh he has to um he has to um, recite, the whole quran. recite the whole quran in one sitting in one day uh and he he only have um in each juz i think one one mistake allowed so he must recite the whole quran perfectly and uh, this is Safwa. They, <coughs> they said there is 50,000 Hafal in Gaza. 50,000. And th this is the Hafal. But, but these, Safwa too, there, was, there were uh, 1,300. 1,300 Hafal Mutqin who passed the exam. They recite the whole Quran in one sitting. Without, they are allowed only for one mistake in each juzo. They all gathered in one mosque, which I am definitely has been like demolished. And I just remember this when 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 the Ummah lost Sahaba Hafaz Sahaba fi Qurra. Qurra. We lost. I mean, there must be. Hundreds of these have, have been gone, and we lost them. Jazakallah khair because the time we will we will continue inshallah. This is what I want everyone to share with some ideas, but then we need to come up with a plan, what to do. Say one of the things we need to do as a community is to encourage our ourselves and our kids to memorize the Quran, or even short. Uh, uh, part every day so this way we can memorize but inshallah we'll continue this inshallah uh, in the few days coming jazakumullah khair wassalamu alaikum wa barakatuh